A magician is telling his story. He said, one time I was performing in a carnival and everybody was fascinated with my act. I had my friend throw knives at my bare chest and I'm taking them on my chest. People do not know that I was dealing with the jinn and they have already built a shield around me. And everything was going beautiful, everybody cheering, until a man comes with a white thawb, bright face, with a miswak in his mouth. He took the miswak, and I saw his lips moving and saying, Allahu la ilaha illahu. And he read Ayat al-Kursi. When he was done reading the Ayah, the blood started shooting from my body. وَإِذَا ذَكَرْتَ اللَّهَ فِي الْقُرْآنِ وَحْدَهِ وَلَّوْ عَلَىٰ أَدْبَارِهِمْ نُفُورًا And when you mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the jinn and the shayateen will run away. He said three months in the hospital, operations, therapy, I made a vow that I'm going to dedicate my life to ruin this man's life. So I started sending the jinn and pleading and begging the jinn to go every day and ruin something, ruin his, his wife, his life, his job, his kids, anything. And every day the jinn come back fruitless, nothing. He said, I used to give you missions much, more, much uh, harder than this and you used to come back very successful. What happened? Open your ears, my brothers and sisters, and especially my brothers. The jinn told the man, the magician, this man never miss Fajr in Jama'ah. This man never miss Fajr in congregation. Sadaqa Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our dear Prophet said the truth when he told us, Man salla subh fi jama'ah fahuwa fi dhimmati Allah. Whomsoever pray fajr in congregation, he's under the protection of Allah. Not an army, not bodyguards, not a country. Under the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the ulama said, fi Allah, under the protection of Allah means that it is haram. It is haram. It is a sin to harm someone who prayed fajr in jama'ah. Hani'an lakum ya ahl al-fajr. 